Chocolate is one of the most recent foreign films I checked out. I added this one to my collection based on some great reviews I heard about the action sequences and fight sequences in this movie. It's absolutely insane. Let's get ready to dive in and talk about it. Welcome once again, my name is Austin and you are joining me for Foreign Film February where we talk about foreign films all month long. I've already done a couple of videos in this series, you can look back, I will put the link to this playlist that I'm kicking off uh, for the videos in this series. So far we have gone through my foreign film Blu-ray collection as well as some Kickstarter getting started foreign films for you to check out. And in this one, I'm going to be giving a review for the movie Chocolate. Now, Chocolate is a movie I had never heard of up until, I don't know, a few months ago. And I was just browsing around on YouTube or something. And somehow this movie came up in the comments or something about how insane and awesome the fight sequences were in this one. So this movie Chocolate is from the director of Ong Bak and The Protector. I have seen Ong Bak, but not The Protector. The director's name is Prakia Pinkeu, if you pronounce, I'm pronouncing it correctly. So this is a Thai movie. I've seen a small amount of Thai movies in my lifetime. Probably Ong Bak and Chocolate off the top of my head are the only ones that I can recall. But this movie is about an autistic girl who uh, has very powerful martial arts skills. She's essentially learned martial arts from watching martial arts movies and living next door to a martial arts school and just watching and studying them and self-taught herself martial arts. And so she is looking to settle the score for her ailing sick mother. And there's a bunch of people that owe her money because her mother used to be in a gang. And so she goes out while her mother is sick and tries tries to get this money back from people that owe her and has to put up quite a fight to do so. So I wasn't exactly sure what to expect just based on watching the trailer for this movie because the trailer, while the action looks fantastic in the trailer, story-wise it almost looks like it's kind of going down the melodramatic, a little bit cheesy route. There's some funny kind of like wordplay stuff with the text on scene with the trailer, but the rave reviews on the action sequences and the stunt work alone had me interested in wanting to check this one out. So I did, I picked it up, I grabbed it on Blu-ray. I think I got it for 12 or $13 on Amazon. It is currently also streaming on Crackle and Pluto from what I saw checking IMDB. So if you wanna stream it, you can check it out there, but I think it's worth grabbing the Blu-ray. And grabbing the Blu-ray, you get a special feature of the making of the movie too. They go behind the scenes on how they did all the stunt work for it, um, a lot of the injuries that happened on set it was brutal filming this movie and actually before I even talk a little bit more about the movie let's talk about that action because basically the woman who plays her so her name is Jija Yanin plays Zen the lead character the autistic girl in this movie and she is really fantastic she actually has pretty good acting talent I think she does really good with acting in this movie as she's not someone who is autistic so not only portraying a character who is autistic but also mastering all of the different fight styles and choreography that they did throughout this movie she did incredible work and this was her first film I've looked since then this is still like one of if not her highest rated movies that she's been in being um, doing some other acting roles and stunt work as well this is still one of her highest rated projects that she's been a part of but she is incredible so she essentially trained for two years daily before they even filmed this movie on the gymnastics and the fight choreography for this movie. And then they subsequently spent two more years filming this movie and she continued training nearly daily. So if you watch the behind the scenes of how they made this movie, it's incredible the work and time that went into this and getting it as good as it is from a fighting and action point of view. Many serious looking injuries took place on set, whether it's kicks in the eye, injured backs arms ribs all that stuff like it's brutal what they went through for this one it's hard to tell what's real and what's not very minimal wire wire work work throughout the final action sequence is probably one of my favorite martial arts fighting sequences i've seen in a long time and so i was not prepared for how insane this movie was even based on the trailer alone there's 
uh, tons of fights throughout. The first half hour or so is kind of build up for the story, and it's it's only a 90 minute movie. So that first 25, 30 minutes is all kind of story build up and background on what's going on, where our characters are, how they got to where they're at now. And then that following hour is just action sequence after action sequence. It flows well within the story. Like I said, it's kind of a basic setup. Uh, this woman's, this girl's mom used to be in a gang, and there was opposing gangs with another one, and the two, her and the man that she falls in love with have this child. And so she is kind of in hiding from for him and so for protection. So that's kind of the gist of the story. But then this final action sequence, well, not sequence, this final hour of action sequences is incredible. There's, like I said, one after the other, but each one feels unique. They take place in different locations. They require her to use different styles and tactics when she is fighting these people in these scenes. There's never one of them that feels just like the other. Each one requires her to do something different, and even some are beyond her ability, and she has to kind of learn on the fly in order to overcome that sequence. So they showcase the environments really well there's versatility and variety within the sequences rating this movie purely on action alone it's a five out of five now the story is something i went with in with somewhat low expectations for based on the trailer and the fact that it's it's front and foremost an action movie so you don't always expect a ton story-wise from them but i actually found the story decent like i said i gave you the gist of it but just getting to follow her as she is going out to get money to help her mother like that's that's all you really need to set up a really good action movie. Now, as far as the autistic angle goes with her character being an autistic girl, I thought that was really well kind of addressed. I wasn't sure if it was something that just kind of be like a, a gimmick throughout, but it's something they keep returning to and showcasing in a way that they're shedding a spotlight on something that's an important part of humanity. They do a really good job showing the range of what it's like to either live with autism or someone who has autism. Now, I can't uh, speak to any firsthand experience with that, but you really get a good understanding of it, I think, throughout this movie and the people in her life and the way that they love for and care for her, um, despite the fact that she has this disability. Again, I can't believe this was her first acting performance. She does such a good job really embodying the character from an acting and character point of view to the action sequences and the fighting that is required of her as well. I'm so glad I checked out this movie and gave it a watch. I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. I definitely recommend checking it out. If you are into Ong Bak or the director's previous work, any of his other movies, and you haven't seen this one, you gotta check it out. It's brutal, awesome, over the top but really 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 well done action sequences there's a fight sequence that takes place on like the side of an apartment building towards the end where they're just up and down stories on the outside wall of it no like you know green screen at all it's it's incredible work that they did for this movie so i definitely want to recommend this one it gives you a chance to check it out i really really enjoyed it so thank you for checking out this review thank you for sticking around to the end i will see you in the next one <laughs>